Good morning, y'all. If you like this content, hit the like and subscribe button. Today, I'm talking about some college tennis players who turn pro. Lulu Sun, apparently from Texas Women's Tennis, turn pro. This is a big loss because that would mean two players from the singles lineup and the doubles lineup from last year are gone. Especially two players that were in the top three in the lineup, singles lineup. I was with Payne Stearns is still at Texas, by the way. But she could turn pro right before the spring if she wants to. While TCU men's tennis lost Alistair Gray, who was a core one slash two player. That's a big loss because that's the best player potentially. And now they lost two players in the singles and doubles lineup. Though they did lose Juan Martin to transfer portal as well. I know they gained a really good freshman to replace him like a top 15 singles player. And another freshman, but... As well as like two transfers, like one from Texas A&M, one Carlos Aguilar, and Tim Rule from Arizona State. But I don't know if it's going to make that much of a difference for TCU. Right now, I would put Baylor above TCU, not just because I'm a Baylor fan and a Baylor alum. But I'm just saying top to bottom and experience, I give Baylor the slightest of edge. As for Texas, I would say their core one player is still and it's going to stay, but you never know. And it's probably be a core four player from last year, two, core five player from last year, and three. Potentially their core six at four, but it could be a, a, a really good freshman at four as well. It could be the core six player at number five or the quote number seven player, Fernando Lebrana, who's coming back for her fifth year at number five, or she's going to be at number six, or it's going to be a freshman. So still, it's a lot of inexperience if you look at that on our roster. Anyways, if you like this content, hit the like and subscribe button. Once again, take it easy.